Hey guys, it's Chris. From drowning their victims to attacking humans and more, join me as I show you 11 of the most dangerous birds in the world. Number 11, Southern Giant Petrel. On the surface, the southern giant petrel may not seem like that dangerous of a bird, especially since it lives in the southern oceans, including around Antarctica and thus isn't around humans that much. But while this bird isn't dangerous to humans, it most definitely is dangerous to other birds around it. And this is for one very basic reason. The southern giant petrel is extremely aggressive. It'll eat whatever it can, including carrion, and they'll get rather aggressive about getting to their dead food before others. As if that wasn't enough, they're known for actually drowning their potential food. Scientists have reported that it's been seen preying on the adult Australasian gannet by holding it underwater and drowning it. These birds have also been observed drowning yellow-nosed and black-browed albatrosses. So whether you're on its menu or not, this is one bird that other members of the animal kingdom will not want to tussle with. Number 10, Ostrich. It may come as a surprise to some that the biggest bird on Earth today is one that cannot fly. But do not sell the ostrich short, so to speak. You would live to regret it. These birds are indeed quite tall, with the males of the species being able to reach over 9 feet in height at certain cases. The females are still rather tall themselves though, able to get over 6 feet 7 inches. What separates the ostrich, in this case the common ostrich, from other birds isn't just its inability to fly, but also its body type. The ostrich has a long neck and very long legs, allowing it to traverse great spaces in its home in Africa without much issue. And it's also one of the fastest things on two feet, as when it gets going, the ostrich can reach up to and sometimes over 60 miles per hour, which means it can run as fast as a car going on a highway in some places. Despite this speed, it usually uses it to stay away from predators, though if the need arises, it will use its feet to kick foes away. But on other occasions, it'll do the kicks that can slash and even kill foes like lions. The late Johnny Cash even had an encounter with an aggressive male ostrich that was so not happy with him that it slashed at his stomach. And by Cash's own admission, the reason he wasn't hurt is because it hit the belt buckle he was wearing. Ostriches won't generally attack humans, but some humans have been foolish enough to provoke them and the results speak for themselves. And now for number 9. But first, are you afraid of any birds? Do you maybe like birds? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free, you know. Number 9. Emu The emu is very tall, the second tallest bird in the world in regard to height. They can get just over 6 feet, which is the size of a tall human. But their main asset is their ability to run fast across the lands of Australia that they call home. They can reach up to 50 kilometers per hour when they need to. And they're also endurance runners, known for traveling great distances in a short period of time. Emus have an interesting relationship with humans, usually in how they're very cautious of them and will often approach them to see what they're like. Australia has the emu on their coat of arms and currency, and even have them as part of their local legends. However, that doesn't mean that they won't attack humans. In fact, not unlike their fellow land bird, the ostrich, they too have very sharp toe claws that they'll use to attack anything near them. They have killed humans in the past, though rarely. What's more numerous are emu attacks in general, to the extent that just in 2009, there were over 100 emu attacks in various places in Australia. Number 8. Lammergeier The Lammergeier is also known as the bearded vulture, and it's a bird that you definitely need to be on the lookout for. Their size can be very impressive, including having a wingspan of about 10 feet. Now, like many vultures, they're scavengers and prefer to pick the bones of kills that have already been made. What is interesting, though, is that they don't prefer the meat of a kill most times. They instead prefer the bones and the marrow within. And what they'll do is they'll grab these bones, soar high into the air, and then drop them from hundreds of feet up to ensure that the bones crack and thus the Lammergeier can get to the marrow. Which brings us to the part about it attacking humans. It's rare or accidental most of the time. In fact, one Greek story says that Aeschylus died via Lammergeier because it dropped a tortoise on his head. Why did the bird do that? Because it mistook his bald head for a stone. Though later interpretations of that story would deem it an exaggeration, it does show that the Lammergeier has a reputation. Number 7. Great Horned Owl Easily one of the most recognizable owls in the world today, the Great Horned Owl is one that is adapted to live all over America and beyond. 
and is known to be quite fierce in how it handles its business. In context, owls are known to attack humans when the circumstances are there, mainly if the owls are feeling that the humans below are a threat to their children. But in the case of the great horned owl, it seems to happen much more frequently than others. In 2012, a number of people in a Seattle area park reported being attacked by a great horned owl that swooped down from the trees. A similar swooping attack occurred in Salem, Oregon in 2015, when a great horned owl repeatedly struck the scalp of a jogger who ran and later escaped. Not the biggest birds in the world, great horned owls can have wingspans over six feet, and their claws are said to have power up to 500 PSI, more than enough to give you issues if it does decide to attack you. And if it does attack you, you'll want to put your hands up, because they tend to go for the face and head first. Number 6. Red-Tailed Hawk the red-tailed hawk is honestly an interesting bird to discuss because many people have a very good relationship with this species, mainly because it's used very commonly in falconry. Red-tailed hawks are usually used to hunt small game such as rabbits and squirrels, as well as larger quarries such as hares. Native Americans respect the bird and use its feathers for various garments and rituals, which brings up the question of why they're dangerous. That would be because they're known to be territorial at points, and if they do deem you a threat, they're going to attack you. Hawks are naturally dangerous given their size, speed, and claws, which means you don't want to mess with them if you have the choice. But if you can raise one for yourself, you might just have a very loyal and powerful aid for your hunts. Number 5. Common Loon The common loon isn't your typical kind of bird. It's a bird that prefers to use diving techniques while already in the water to catch prey. Thus, its classification as a diver bird. The common loon uses its powerful hind legs to propel its body underwater at high speeds to catch its prey, which it then swallows head first. If the fish attempts to evade the common loon, the bird chases it down with excellent underwater maneuverability due to its tremendously strong legs. So you would think that this bird would just be a danger because it can go fast in the water and the air, right? But what gets lost is that the common loon has a beak that's like a dagger, for real. It's meant to be used to ward off predators like sharks and even the bald eagle. When threatened, they'll rush the foe to stab them and ensure they know they're making a mistake. So while the loon may not look threatening, it most certainly is. Number 4. Mute Swan some of you might be confused by this entry because when you think of a swan, you're likely thinking of the majestic bird that has been used as a symbol of love and other things over the years, which is fair and true in many respects. But when it comes to the mute swan, they'll act like many birds do when they're nesting, meaning they'll attack without mercy. Even when their nests aren't threatened, it's not a good idea to approach a mute swan. But if you are entering their territory during nesting season, they'll rush at you, hiss at you, and then attack you with wings that are over two and a half meters in wingspan. So while you may want to admire a swan in its natural habitat, it's probably best you do it from a safe distance. Number 3. Australian Magpie It's said that the Australian Magpie is the second most dangerous bird in Australia, mainly because like many birds, they have a very aggressive tendency to attack anyone who comes into their various home turfs when they're nesting, which is a problem for many reasons, not the least of which is that unlike fellow native bird the emu, Australian magpies are known to live in city and residential areas, including alleyways and parks. So if you even accidentally come onto their turf, they'll go and swoop down and attack you fearlessly and without mercy. While their attacks may not be deadly, they will be painful, and that will cause all sorts of problems for you. So thus, if in Australia, you want to pay attention to what's around you. Number 2. Peregrine Falcon There are many fast animals in the world, including many like cheetahs that can keep up with cars, but in terms of super speed, there's only one true contender, the Peregrine Falcon. This is a bird that's been clocked at a blistering 242 miles per hour four times the average speed limit on a highway. To be specific though, this isn't a normal flying speed for the bird, or the horizontal speed of the bird as it's called. That's actually around 70 miles per hour, which is still really fast, but where it obtains its super speed is in its ability to dive down and grab prey in the blink of an eye. And that's all due to its body, which is quite literally designed to be the fastest thing alive. What the peregrine falcon will do is it'll tuck its wings in, still its head and feet, and just start building up speed at an impressive rate. And because it's going down at an angle and not straight down, it doesn't have to abide by the laws of terminal velocity. 
Though endangered, the peregrine falcon is one of the most feared birds in the sky, mainly because of this speed. Because if you get locked in its sights, more times than not, it's gonna get you. Number one, cassowary. Cassowaries are one of many land birds that live in the world today. However, what they have over their fellow land birds is an aggressiveness and their ability to do serious damage to those who mess with them. What's more, they have a very documented history with humans in terms of attacking us. However, not in the way you'd expect. Rather, only rarely have humans attacked cassowaries and thus prompted responses. Instead, the cassowaries would be fed by the humans, and then a series of unfortunate events would follow. They would chase after the humans, trying to get more food and getting more and more aggressive when they made their attempts. The cassowary has claws that can break human bones, and they're not above jumping over their potential prey to get into a better position to strike them. The cassowaries are so aggressive that while they won't necessarily kill an opponent or foe, they'll leave them in seriously critical condition afterwards. The fear of cassowaries goes so far back that soldiers in World War II in New Guinea were told to stay away from them. That warning maintains itself to this day. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at various dangerous birds of the world? Did you know that some of them were this dangerous or powerful or fast? Maybe now you have a new appreciation for how powerful they are. Do you know of any other birds that could have been on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.